John 15 and 18. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakodash, Yahweh being the name of the Father, who people are ignorantly call God, Yahweh Shai is his son, who people are ignorantly call Jesus, by Hashem, Rakakodash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith. Lord will to the end, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. And Lord will this lesson be edifying to the elect. I'm going in today on, let me see what I've tied, I believe I've titled it, uh, basically, um, I've chosen you out of the world, something to that effect. But by by the time you, Lord will watch this, it, uh, it'll have a title. But uh, yeah, man, uh, we not a we not a part of this world, so just be prepared to be disliked, to be hated, however you want to put it, to to not fit in to this world, and and be okay with it. You know, it's uh, it's it's going to happen. You know, the things that we do according to the scriptures are contrary to what the world does. You know, we just got off of the Day of Atonement, fasting. Hey, people are not thinking about doing no fasting unless it has something to do with, you know, if it deals with some type of health to affect them in a, in a way where it deals with their body or something like that, which is, that's okay, you know. But they're not doing it unto Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, to a, to a spirit that they can't, they can't see. You know, because they don't have the faith. So I'm going to just bring out a few scriptures and Lord will this lesson be at a fine to the elect. Uh, back at John 15, and I'm going to jump to 19 now. It says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. That's why you're not getting no no type of accolades. That's why you're not getting no type of uh, recognition. That's why you won't get no, no type of um, love from this world, man. The world... And it's not a low key hate you. They hate you. You know, this this world, everything that it has to offer is really what we don't want. You know, we're not looking for for uh, benzes and, you know, houses and you know all that here, you know, in the now, because we know what comes with it. It's all everything is tainted here. You know, you can't get it and just. And, and and everything just be yours flat right out. It's always something that's uh, undermined that's going on behind the scene that that uh taint everything that you get involved in. If you you know that's why it's best just to you know live like the scripture speaks about. Give us today our daily bread and and be concerned about that on what you're getting for that day. You know because you start. Worrying yourself and stressing yourself over five years, even within that year, you know, things are possible to change, you know. So it's no need to get all caught up in the things of this world. So it says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. So look at it as that. Look at it as the water Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, meaning thank you, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, that you've chosen us up out of this, this world and brought us into this to the light, man. So now that we see and we have an understanding and we we know what's going on, Brakat the Yahweh, you know. You know, really thank you and blessings that He given us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He said, I have chosen you out of the world because nothing back in the world. You know, if, if you even ever come around some of your people that, you know, that you knew prior to coming to this truth, you look at them and you look at them and you say, damn, you know, you it makes you really appreciative of this truth because you see how the things that they're a part of that really don't have no value, they don't have no substance. So you don't see 
um, yourself being a part of that anymore. That's because Yahweh Shemiah Shai has chosen you out of that world. It says, therefore, the world hateth you. So it's going to be a hate there. When you detach yourself from something that you were once a part of, that 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 part that you got taken out of are going to not, they're not going to vibe with you no more, you know? And don't think it's strange. Just enjoy the vibration that you're a part of now, which is the right vibration. You under the right, right vibration now. Verse 20, 20, it says, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So those <clears throat> that are able to hear this truth are going, you know, they're going to vibe with this. This a, It's a song and only the elect can hear it. And if they if they can't, hey, you, you just got to keep it pushing. So you can't worry about those that come up against you. I'm going to look up this word persecute. Let's see what it says. Persecutus uh, G1377. And it says to make, to run, or to flee, put to flight, drive away. Let me get to the definition. It says compare the base of, it says to pursue, to persecute, to suffer, press forward. So let me get this. Let me get to the root word. Let me go to the root of it. It's a G1169. It's another one, though, too. Timid, fearful. Faithless, <laughs> fearful. And that's because they don't have no faith. You know, if you you going through persecution. You getting uh, spoken wrongly against that's because you know the people that are doing that they don't have no faith they they don't have ultimately they don't fear yahabash me but you do so it says if they have persecuted me you know they will also persecute you they persecuted yahweh yahweh shah you know they had a, a complete disdain for yahweh shah so we can't think it's strange when that transpires on this side for us really we should be glad i'm gonna get this next one this is uh first john chapter four and starting at verse four it says ye are the ye are of the most high little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world and we have to really look at it as such that Yahweh is, is dwelling within us. His spirit is within us that gives us, you know, this this uh umph, this desire to constantly do this. It's not of us. This is something that's you know, it's we're we're wired this way. It's not like, oh well, I, I'm of my free will. That free will is BS. We are like people don't want to believe it, but you are uh, program to do what you're doing if you're 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 uh, uh, caught up into the things of this world that's because the heavenly father he puts you in that way because you don't know what neither none of us know what was going to transpire tomorrow you know we don't know how it was going to go even if you have plans to do whatever it is that you're going to do we still don't know how everything's going to fall out you know fall fall to play we don't know so we just you know are led by the Holy Spirit. Ultimately, everybody is just just are a part of this this whole script that's already pre written. So it says, uh, First John four and four, ye are the most high little children and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Everybody here, you know, these celebrities out out here you know these um people that are musicians people that are uh, are into all this entertainment out here uh these youtubers and all that everybody are are listening to the 
to them, you know, but to hear this truth, people don't want to hear it. People don't want to hear it. And, and that's because that's how it's supposed to be. And that's not a cop out. Like you have, you have, uh, from our apostles and elders who get, who have, uh, probably thousands, they got thousands of, uh, subscribers. But when you look at the views, you know, even if they have a, have a good day, if they say they do have thousands of views, but out of the thousand, that that's really, that's, that's because it's a small remnant, man. You're not having a, a hundreds of thousands, millions of people that are subscribed to the apostles and elders channels out of all these people that's in the world. You only have a, a small remnant that are listening. Uh, and if you get uh, uh, the, from the apostles and elders on down, if you get thousands of views, that's that's doing good. But all these other people, these other platforms and people are getting millions and millions, some billions of views. While the men of the Lord are speaking what's was the ultimate knowledge, wisdom and understanding, regardless of, of, of what people say, people don't want to hear the truth. And that's because ultimately they, they're uh, giving a, a, a stiff arm to Yahweh Shai, who people are going to call Jesus. So I'm going to jump over to this next one. That's because they hate us, you know, and that, and that's that's something that we have to. We we hate you, too. You know, that's that's ultimately that's how the, the, we feel about it. You know, like you hate us. Why we hate you, too, because the scripture speaks on that. Our, our power, he speaks about, he says, uh, I, I hate them to hate you. And that's how we are. You know, I believe that was King David that sp said, spoke like that. Like, I, 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 you hate me. I hate them that hate you, you know, and, and ultimately they hate the heavenly father and his son. So let me get this next one. This is John. Uh, I got, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to that one. Uh, just John. But 15 and just verse 16, it says, it says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. And that's a, that's a blessing in itself. You know, that's a good thing to hear that we didn't, we didn't choose the heavenly father, you know, just like we didn't choose who our parents to be. It was, it was brought on to us for Yahweh to bring us into this, to Ye Yahweh Shai, for us to be a part of this, 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 uh, marvelous life, you know? So it says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name, he may give it you. So, you know, it's, it's some fruit, meaning it's some works that should come out of what we are doing. Our labor is not in vain. You know, what we're doing is not in vain. It's, it's, it's not being unnoticed. So let me get this next one. This is, I'm going to close it on this one. This is First Peter chapter 4. And verse 12, we only we know that only the elect are going to want to hear this. Only the elect want to know, you know, what, what's necessary to hopefully be found blameless and hopefully to be a part of the elect. This is first Peter chapter four and 12. It says, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange things happen unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So when we see the return of Yahweh Shai, when we see all the things that are going to transpire that are considered bad in this world. We gonna look at it as being good, because right now everything is turned upside down. But we know that the things that uh, everything is is flipping. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. Esau is the so-called white man. Jacob is the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. This is to cover, you know, the twelve tribes. So the things that are going on right now, and and going in the way of how everybody that is a part of this world is beginning to crumble and everything is going to eventually is going to this, this the economy is going to totally collapse what we've been saying about the MOTB the the, the main prophecy is going to come to pass that mark of the beast as well as uh world war 3 which is going to bring in the return of Yahweh Shah 
You know, all this is going to transpire and, and the only ones that's going to be uh, saved from that, which is going to be our true salvation, is going to be those that's of the elect. And the way that we're going to be saved from this is going to be by those chairs, man, what people call UFOs. You know, that's that's one of those faith that you got to have faith to believe, you know, and it's all in the scriptures. So, Lord, will this was edifying to the elect out there. And with that, all praise, honor and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to you. I came out there fighting this good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. Till next time, Lord will. Shalom.